brought to you by TheMobileFarmer.com This week we saw, I guess the last two weeks, we've seen a really, really cool use of Twitter from the standpoint of agronomy. Right. Yeah, I was talking to you about it the other day. Um, in the last year, the number of producers that are on Twitter has exploded and we had a perfect example of why farmers should be on Twitter this past week in Ontario. Army worm. Right. So, pretty, uh, pretty significant pest if it gets to a certain threshold, um, but it's hard to make the decision on when you spray. Right. I think the experts say five larvae per square foot, and they okay. must be under two inches. So what started to happen on Twitter was farmers start taking pictures, yeah. start asking questions, um, so you know regionally where they're mm -hmm. being seen, you know it in real time, and what's really awesome is our extension guys, both private, public, they start chipping in, right? right. So you get that interactive discussion, uh, cut to the chase info, yeah. it's 140 characters, so I don't yeah. have to read, you know, it's not a fact sheet, it's here's the, here's the criterion, here's how you make your decision. Well, the neat part too, I guess, was that it was there was that interact. Farmers could very quickly say, "Hey, here's my counts. Here's what how big they are. What should I do?" Right away, there's that response back to them. Uh, I would hold off and evaluate tomorrow, or hey, spray now. Well, some of the pictures, I mean, they're almost like uh, horrific. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you see a picture of farmers taken where basically the army worm are consuming an entire hay crop, um, and even moving from a wheat field into someone's lawn and just eating the whole thing. Yeah. Um, motivation is there to scout right so that's that's the that's the effector you know how we you know the result but how how were they actually using Twitter to share and, and get that information well it started maybe a week or ten days ago and I think there was a, a producer that uh, said I see some army work. and then so he had tweeted out army work. right and then an image yeah and then, actually, I went to my field, I checked, and I found one. And I just took a picture of it in my hand. Um, I see it too. And then slowly, you know, the people that I'm following on Twitter, there's a lot of producers in my area, uh, the picture started to get more dramatic. Right. right. And the urgency around the issue started to become more heightened. And it's really a day-to-day -day thing. Mm -hmm. It's not like you can wait till the next issue of the weekly publication comes out or... You have to know, you have to be watching it, and you really have to get a sense of when that threshold is. So if I wasn't following the right people, how would I find out about the Army War? Well, I'm hoping you're going to tell me how to use hashtags. I, uh, for me, I guess I follow specific um, hashtags that are relevant to Ontario agriculture, for me, right? Um, but I know that hashtags for new users can be kind of... Uh, a mystery. Can you, what's the? Well, I think there's two ways to find information on the specific example, which was the army worm. You could search the word army worm, or two right. words, I guess. Or what you could do is you could search the hashtag, so pound army worm, right. or army worms. Some, yeah. some people were kind of using both, right? Yeah. And so the, the, what the pound does is it, it initiates a search function inside Twitter. So any word that you put beside the pound sign will allow you to search for those characters right. uh, in, in sequence. So in this case, like I said, pound army worm or pound army worms, and basically then you can see all of the tweets with that hashtag in it. And so right. it really allowed you very quickly to to get a collection of those tweets to really sort of get an idea, oh, boom, boom, oh, he's saying this, oh, you know, he's close to me. Right. He's got those numbers, I better get in there and spray, or I better go look at my field. Right. And so that's really the sort of the, the crowdsourcing very quick uh, information nature of Twitter and was really really used powerfully yeah. the last two weeks. Well it allows you to, you know, people think Twitter is this huge universe of, you know, useless information potentially. Yeah. But that hashtag is important to sort of really uh, focus the information or the conversation that you're involved in. And you can do more than one hashtag, right? Right. Oh yeah. So you could yeah. do army worm, you could do on tag. On tag your location. Yeah. Um, there's no right or wrong Pest. hashtag, right? Yeah. I mean, they're just generated by people that are creating tweets, so it's not like they're defined. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a perfect example of, for me, it was really valuable. You mm -hmm. know, it wasn't just chatter. It was, 
management oriented, um, high value because it got me scouting yep. for a pest that maybe I wouldn't have otherwise, and credible information. Yeah. You know, f because I'm following the right people, the uh, local researchers, local uh, extension guys, uh, professional agronomists that I respect. So it's like, wow. Uh, so, in the, in the example we're using as far as army worms, the scouting, using the hashtag, what value does adding a picture have to that? Well, I think that's that's probably where the biggest value has come from my perspective anyway. Producers and the people that I'm following, we've all gotten better at using our smartphones to take a picture. Mm -hmm. Like a really good a really good quality picture combined with that really short message, it's pretty easy to consume, pretty valuable. So I use my smartphone primarily to when I'm tweeting, putting something in, but when I have time or when I have my iPad with me, um, I love Flipboard. You were the one that told me about it. Right. And Flipboard basically, um, it aggregates a lot of content, like your Facebook page if you want, but what, what I really like about it is it turns your Twitter feed um, into something really visual. Visual, yeah. So, I mean, some of the images on my smartphone of the, of the um, army worm catastrophe were, you know, they're, they're a little thumbnail on a smartphone. Mm -hmm. Flipboard on my iPad, you know, I have a you know, six by six, huge, really high res picture. Yeah. And that's a pretty good tool. It really maxes out Twitter. Well, it really turns the the robust uh, Twitter feed that's you know streaming and it's you know if you're yeah. using something like TweetDeck or Hootsuite, it's, it's it can move pretty fast depending on right. how many people you're following. Flipboard really takes that feed and creates a sort of a static magazine, right? That allows you also to reply to tweets, uh, maybe yeah. retweet, share, um, and really kind of creates a more sort of just uh, calm. View yeah, the Twitter it, stream. It's maybe not as busy. It doesn't allow you to direct message, I don't think. No, it doesn't. But um, of all the Twitter apps that I've used, uh, when you have the ability to have your tablet with you, uh, I really like it. And, and Flipboard currently only available for iPad, uh, but it's coming on the Android platform. Yeah, I think right. the beta is slowly being released to certain yeah. uh, devices. I think the beta is available for Android. So. Yeah, I, I think it's coming. Uh, initially, they were only going to release it to some of the new models of phones, but apparently, there's a way for you to backdoor it right, so right, you can right. get it on any yeah. Android device. But right, yeah, yeah. So I think Twitter is an egg tool, and uh, for producers that aren't there, um, yeah, I think that hashtag advice will really drive the value quickly. Start, yeah, start putting in some hashtags on topics that are of interest to you. What well, our army worm example, yeah. you could do a search. You could in Flipboard, you could do a search for hashtag army worm, right, and then basically create a little magazine of only the army worm tweets, right? Yeah, and the, all the images you could collect them all would be in one right spot. There. You could flip through them. So it really is a powerful tool. Yeah, and it's perfect for agriculture. So it's not really just about what you're eating or. <laughs> it's not doing? about uh, Charlie Sheen. It's about production agriculture and sharing. Well, we call it crowdsourcing or collective yeah. intelligence, right? Yeah. That's what it's about. Cool. That's what we do at the coffee shop. Twitter makes it easier, right?